So say there was a family that had eight kids, right? And so you got the mom and you got the dad, and you got all these kids, and you got their love stories. And well, if you don't know what I'm talking about, keep watching and I'll tell you all about the book we're talking about today. Hey y'all, it's Kyla Denango and today we are talking about the book series. Well, one book in particular <laughs> from the show Bridgerton, all right? The author of the books, Julia Quinn. The book we're discussing today is To Sir Philip With Love. The genre of the book is fiction or even historical fiction. The theme of the book is literature, all right? Some people love it. Some people don't really love it. I'm enjoying the TV adaptations because they are different from the books but not in a bad way it's just like sometimes they combine characters or they combine love stories and Shonda and company definitely are not going in order with the way the books went right like first it was Daphne then it was Antony and then she's kind of switching it up and so that part is kind of fun but I gotta tell you about my favorite Bridgerton favorite favorite <laughs> My favorite Bridgerton is Eloise. She is my favorite for completely shallow reasons, okay? And yes, there are a lot of spoilers in this book review. So Eloise gets a pen pal. She starts writing, writing, writing. They fall in love. Well, kind of. And the reason this is completely shallow is because this is my love story, except that it wasn't a distant cousin of mine and that he didn't have twins. And okay, so maybe it's very far off, but my husband and I met. 10 years ago maybe more when he sent me a message on myspace you might be too young to even know what myspace is <laughs> he is the original guy who slid in the dms which are direct messages and was like hey you have a great smile we started chatting on aol instant messenger for eight or nine months and then i drove to cleveland where my best friend lives that's where he was going to college and I met him there and there were all kinds of things seven years to eight years I go to law school he moves me there he's still here he dates he's in the Philippines working all kinds of stuff happened in between and then we ended up back together he proposes we get married right so cute story fairy tale absolutely really straight path no way at all okay and so that's why I really love Eloise because Eloise ends up getting jealous of Penelope and she's like how come even you found love I thought we were gonna be spinsters together and then she starts to write her cousin when the cousin ends up losing his spouse and she's like oh I remember you know the cousin was the female who passed away and she's like oh I remember Marina when she was younger she was always really sad you know I'm not really surprised that she didn't enjoy her life as an adult and so you get to track that story and they get so close and he's like yeah you should come out here and she does and that's what I did there are a couple of things in watching the show that really struck me and I was like I never noticed that and that's why I had to go back and read the books every time a new season comes out I go and I read the books because I want to see I want to refresh my memory about the stories and the plot lines and then I'm excited to watch the show and see how they've changed things or rearranged it or made it different. I can't wait to see the twins as they get older because in the book they are complete rascals but also true to form Eloise is a rascal as well like if you play a prank on me I'm gonna play a prank on you too and so I'm really excited. I, I'm excited to see the show but even in rereading the books again I was like oh, Eloise is definitely my favorite Bridgerton right? She just is. And I like the way that they're portraying her in the show. She's a little bit different. She's a little bit goofier than she is in the actual books. But I think that's what's going to make her maturity show up even more when she has this relationship. Like it completely makes sense that she doesn't just meet someone on the marriage mark. She doesn't just dance with someone and fall in love. She has an enduring friendship that they create and it spans for all this time and then she shows up, right? So I think that is, I think that's really, really cute, so. If you guys enjoyed hearing all about this historical fiction book, take a look at this review here. My all-time favorite, I read this book every year, sometimes multiple times a year. The book is amazing, all right? So let's talk all about being a giver of stars. I'll see you in the next one.